If ModFit Latest Technology, or LT, has difficulty detecting peaks or identifying the ploidy patterns of a sample using automatic analysis, you can use manual analysis to analyze the data. First, you open the sample you want to analyze. Next, you use the Choose Model dialog box to select a model that matches your assessment of the sample. Once the model has been selected, you need to position ranges over important peaks, choose a few options, and finally tell the program to analyze the sample. Let's get started. With ModFidelity open, click the File button on the toolbar. Open the file Problem 1 FCS from the Samples folder where ModFidelT was installed. There are several problems with this histogram, the most important being that its peaks are very broad. Depending on your peak finder settings, the program probably missed one or both of the dominant peaks in the histogram. In this example, we've missed both of them. This is a circumstance where you must use manual analysis to model the sample. Even if the peaks are all detected, you can still continue with this tutorial. Click the Choose Model button on the toolbar and a dialog is displayed. This dialog allows you to define the model that you want to use for this histogram. Based on the options you choose, the program will construct a model to match those assumptions. This is a DNA aneuploid sample, so the selections we make in the dialog need to reflect that. We'll enable auto debris and auto aggregates by checking the related checkboxes. Disable apoptosis by clearing its checkbox. This option is used very rarely and only with very specific protocols. Set the linearity to 2.0, which is the default G2-G1 ratio for ModFit LT. There are no internal standards in this file, so set internal standards to zero. We want to model two cell cycles in this data file, a diploid and an aneuploid cycle. Set number of cycles to two. For the model template, choose diploid aneuploid. This tells the program the ploidy and the order to assign to each cycle. Note that in the absence of an internal standard, this may be an arbitrary choice. For the range positions, choose Compute Range Positions. If you use this dialog to modify an existing model, you might choose Use Current Range Positions so that the program does not move any existing ranges. Click OK to confirm your choices and close the dialog. ModFidelT will construct the model and try to position the model ranges over the peaks. It switches to the range view automatically. You can see this view anytime by clicking the range button on the toolbar. In the range view, you can position ranges over the peaks in the sample. You move a range by clicking on the range label and dragging it to a new location with the mouse button down. When finished, you release the mouse button. To adjust the width of a range, click the black handles and drag to choose a new size. Verify that the debris range is located over the starting point of debris at the left edge of the histogram. The right side of the range should be placed at about two-thirds of the histogram scale. This range rarely needs any adjustment. Ensure that the DIP-G1 range is positioned over the first peak, the DNA diploid G0-G1. It doesn't need to be stretched to encompass the peak as long as it is centered on the peak. You should see a red fill in the first peak that indicates the range estimate of the size of the peaks. Move the ANG1 range over the center of the second peak, the DNA aneuploid G0G1. This peak will fill with yellow to indicate the range estimate. Move the dip G2 range over the portion of the histogram that is about twice the position of the dip G1 range. This is the approximate position of the diploid G2M. Move the AN1 G2 range to about twice the position of the AN G1 range. This also is the approximate position of the aneuploid G2M. These G2 positions are not critical as the modeling process will adjust them. With the ranges in position, you're ready to analyze the sample. Click the Fit button on the toolbar to perform the nonlinear least squares fit. Be sure at this stage not to click the Auto button. Review the analysis to ensure that the model correctly matches the sample. If the RCS value is high, you should make sure you selected the correct model and that its ranges are also correctly positioned.
Manual analysis must be used when the peak finder finds no peaks, as in this example, or if automatic analysis fails for some obscure reason. You may also use it any time you need to make your own decisions about how to model a sample. Models are selected using the Choose Model option from the Analysis menu or by clicking the Model button on the toolbar. Thanks for watching.